Welcome back to TaxPress. I'm gonna show you how to create an online store into Google Sites in no time. So I walk you through the steps of building an e-commerce website so we can just get started totally for free. The very first thing you want to do is to set up your Google Sites. So here what you want to do is to start by logging into Google Sites account and navigate through Google Sites. Click into create to start an actual section pages, products, about us, custom information, and so much more. You can customize the layout colors and fonts to match your branding identity. Usually what we do is to choose an actual template gallery and look out for something that is related into what you're actually looking to sell. So let's say for example that we want to focus into something, for example, that maybe say loan. So I choose this template and automatically it's going to be showing us how we can check out here our product. Now there's two ways of how we can set up an actual online store. The very first thing is to go and focus here into pages. Now, as you can see here into the template, we have the service, for example, here, search styling here. Uh, this is the actual price, uh, the makeup services. And then what you wanted to do is to, let's say in a very easy way, is to add your product and then you add the description and then you add the pricing of that product. So how can we get started with that? So if I go directly here into services, for example, I'm going to go and open any product, for example, the product number one. So I have the product number one of my store, right? So here, let's say for example, that I wanted to sell a custom T-shirt. So I go and name this custom T-shirt. Uh, I'm gonna go and leave it like this. And now a little bit here into the insert part, usually what we do is to use a content block. Because I have the image, I have the title, and I have the description. So you can add your product directly into your site. So here I'm going to go and open a specific image. So just as an example, I only have this actual image. I'm going to try to make this like this. And here let's go for the name of my product. In this case, it's going to be custom t-shirt. Let's go for custom premium t-shirt. So I'm going to select now this and I'm going to change the actual color of it. So you can see that here, uh, what I want to be doing here is to change the title, color, and how it's going to be looking the actual font. So I'm going to try to do this like this, custom premium teaser. Now this is the part where they wanted to set up the payment options. To enable online transactions, you want to integrate payment options into your site. You can use Google Forms to collect orders and payment information or integrate third party payments getaways like PayPal or Stripe. So how can I get started to do this? I'm going to open a new tab here. And I'm going to, let's say, for example, go for Stripe. Now, Stripe is an amazing section. Uh, it actually works like PayPal, but in my case, it's going to be much more faster to use rather than PayPal because what you wanted to do is to add in a specific button uh, section. So if I scroll all the way uh, down and go for a button, let's say that by now, and here you choose your link. Usually here into linked, for example, let's say that I choose a PayPal link that me, I go for insert and I move this uh, a little bit up like this, right? So it actually looks really simple to buy it now. But the best solution for me is to add something directly where I'm gonna be choosing and receiving the payment options because this payment option is like in a very easy way. So I wanted to add something more advanced and of course to make it more comfortable for the person who, are, who is buying this, of course. So I'm gonna try to go back into Stripe and here I'm gonna just sign in. Now I'm going to show you something that is actually amazing from Stripe. Here in Stripe, what you can do is to start by choosing uh, this actual buy linked button. So I can add in a specific button. For example, here I choose once again the same image, the same name of my product. Let's say, for example, premium t-shirt and add the short description of it. Uh, really easy to add. Of course, I'm going to make this smaller. There we go. And now here, uh, what I wanted to do is to choose the specific price. Let's say, for example, it's going to be 24, right? All oh, it's going to be at the product. So here is how it should be looking when somebody clicked into the buy button instead of the PayPal. So I go back, I go for create the link. And then after that, I can choose that link. I can go for the button of the sale here and I have an actual code. So I copy this code. I choose button, of course. I choose this option and I'm gonna delete this button because I'm gonna add a new button. I'm going for embeamed, embeamed code and I paste the code that Stripe provided to me. And I go for insert and you can edit that process later. But in my case, I think it actually works. I can edit this later. 
and this link is going to be sending them in here. So they can be che checking out the email, the card information, the card holder name, currency in the region and hit now and to pay. Because we have to be honest here inside the actual Google Sites, we cannot do that inside Google Sites. We cannot add all this information here directly into the Google Sites. We need to have a third party added here inside the actual Google Sites. And lastly, what you want to do is to optimize your site for the CEO. So you can boost the visibility into your online store by optimizing it to the search engines. You can add relevant keywords to your product description, use descriptive pages and URLs. You can regularly update your content for improved decided CDO. And the CEO is going to be located in settings. And here in the settings, you can go for the actual section of the navigation. I have the brand images, I have the viewer tools, I have analytics and announcement bars, just in case you wanted to check that out. And well, guys, this is going to be really easy to get started with. Of course, Google site is totally free. They have uh, limited stuff to offer. But the most amazing part is that this is totally for free. You don't have to absolutely pay for anything. And having integrations, for example, in Beams, text box, images, and so much more is like in a very easy way how you can just get started by checking out all those elements inside Google Sites. So I think that's the reason why it's going to be really great to check out how it actually works, this uh, section of your store inside Google Sites. So if you wanted to check out more information about how you can get started here inside the actual uh, section of the Google Sites, and you can check out more videos here into our TechPress stuff. Thank you so much for watching the video guys check out how it actually looks your store check out if this one is uh, worthy for you i believe it's going to be really helpful for people who are just getting started to sell stuff here and google sites since this store is free is the best tool for beginners and online store entrepreneurs so thank you so much for watching the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time happy e-commerce and 3 see you soon